hello friends welcome to via digital youtube channel this is anil in this video i am going to discuss about clauses in microsoft sql server like what are the clauses we are using when we can read the data from a table by using select statement every clause have a unique feature we have multiple clauses each and every clauses having an unique feature we can use those clauses to read the data effectively based on the tables based on the business requirement so what are the clauses we have in the sql server how we can use inside the select statement now you can observe we have top clause distinct clause where clause and group by clause and having clause order by clause we have totally six clauses in the sql server now how we can use inside the select statement like what is the top clause top clause it displays the defined number of records into the result set now you can observe i have first we can go through the excel file then we can go to the uh, tabular format first you can observe i have placed some values in my excel file first you can observe what are the top one value this is the top one value and i want to read only top five records up to this top five records it will be read from this table now how we can check with our sql server table now you can observe first you can observe here i have a employee table i am using select query to read the data from an employee table then i can read then you can observe it will read all the employees table data how we can check how we can check what are the user defined values to read from a table i, I want to read first five records i want to read first five records i can use select immediate select i can use top class top five star is nothing but a column names i want to read first five records so i can use top five records from a table now you can observe in the previous statement we can get seven records in the table but i want to read only five records it will read only five records like in the real time when we can check with the data part like where, whenever we want to check with the data we can use top uh, top uh, thousand records uh, like top 100 records we can get now you can observe this table you can right click on the particular table then you can observe select top thousand rows that means it will read the top thousand rows what are the values we have in a table like we here we can get select a top five rows so i can use select top five star from employee table so it will get only top five records next can observe next i am using a where clause where clause what is mean by where clause where is nothing but a we can filter the data or user can define some conditions to read the data by using where clause simple example you can compare with the excel file how we can filter the data by using filter you can observe we have sort and filter i want to filter the data you can observe i want to filter the data you can observe select to go to filter but i want to read only hyderabad data how we can see that hyderabad data just we can unselect all and what are the required data you want to display in the excel file you can select okay it will read only two hyderabad details hyderabad employee details data so how we can use the same into our sql server you can observe we have a table in this table we have seven record seven records i want to read only hyderabad data how we can implement it first you can read a query from the table select star from employee then i can use where clause where from which column you want to filter the data i want to filter the data from address column and what is the value you have to filter i can use hyderabad city name so when we can run this query it will read only hyderabad employees data like after table name immediately we can get the where class when we can filter or apply the condition based on the operators in the previous sessions we can discuss about the sql operators like we can use equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to between and or in not in like not like we can apply all the operators in the inside the where class so now you can observe the second query write a query to display 10th department details and which employee getting salary 20,000 or 25,000 now you can observe here I want to get 10th employee details first we can check with the SQL uh, table uh, sorry excel file you can observe here department 10th I want to get first 10th department details so I can filter the data 10th department so 
it will get all the 10th department details now what you want to filter data which employee getting 25,000 salary then coming to the center 25 salary column then filter the data 25,000 it will show two records so whenever we want to filter the data first we should know the column name in that column name what are the row value to filter it that value you should know and you should identify this value coming from which column name so we can use that column name inside the after where class and we can apply the operator then we can pass the value so we can use the same into our select statement select store from employee where department id equal to 10 and salary equal to 25000 you can observe and condition in the 10th class max we can learn about uh, logical operators like true 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 false 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 like that and the operator if any condition is false it won't read any data you can observe any data now you can observe you can change into 30000 you can see if department number should be 10 at the same time salary should be 30000 only that part of employees will be read as output now you can observe our department 10 condition is satisfied and salary condition is not satisfied so if one condition is true and one condition is false what is the true and false false so record will not be displayed as a output until unless you don't have any syntax errors it won't show any error if data was not read there is no data in a table or condition should not satisfy the passing values so in this way we can check with the operator spot inside the where class now you can observe the group by class now you can observe group by class how we can use the group by class group by class is nothing but a divide the table into number of groups simple example you can take a school inside the school we have taking a 10th class 10th class student details inside the 10th class how we can filter i have a first standard to 10th standard information how we can get the 10th standard information by using where class to filter the data where class equal to 10 then how we can get 10th class total student 10th class total student we can use aggregate functions we can apply aggregate function like uh, select count star comma class from table name where class id equal to 10 then we can apply the group we can apply the uh, group by group by 10th class so in this part we can use group by class is nothing but we can divide the table into number of groups i have a class simple example i have a 10th class i want to get the count by gender by gender and gender wise you can observe a simple example you can observe go through the excel file i have an employee id uh, or you can observe i have a student id student id student name okay gender okay and marks you can observe so in this part you can observe i have a student one two three four five you can observe student name a b c d e and f and gender you can observe male female male female male now you can observe you can observe you can get the total count how how what is the total count count is how many records we have five records one two three four five records what is the male count you can observe what is the male count and what is the female count you can get how we can segregate the data by using group by class we have male records we have male count is three and female count is two so that way we can divide the table into number of groups by using group by class how we can get you can check with our query part write a query to get department wise number of employees i have using the which da data coming from which table employee table then what are the columns you want to read from your table that column names list we can declare into the select class select department id count star is nothing but aggregate function we can discuss on the next session what are the aggregate functions we have as emp count then this is the alias name of a this result set then from employee then you can observe when we can read this table it will throw in an error column employee department is invalid in the select list because it's not a contained in general, either an aggregate function so i can use group by class that's nothing but a divide the table into number of groups so you can observe observe here 10th department we have 10th department we have four records and 20 department we have two records and 30 department we have one record so this is the way we can declare the we can divide the data into number of groups by using 
group by class so next observe we can, we have having class now you can observe we have a having class how many employees having more than how many which department having more than two employees i have first i have read the data and i can group it after grouping i want to find which department having more than two employees you can observe here 10th department having four employees 20 department having two employees 30 department having one employee but which department having more than two employees more than two is nothing but a 10th department how we can read you can observe up to group by class it's clear then what are the count we can get that count greater than should be two then it will get the only department having 10 having four records that means this department having more than two employees after grouping like what is the main difference between where class grouping and having is the common interview question where class it is a filter the record before aggregation and group by class it divide the table into number of groups after grouping the data having class to filter the data before before grouping before aggregation we can use to filter the data by using where class after aggregation we can use to filter having class there is no difference variant having but before aggregation one after aggregation one we can use and next you can observe order by class what is mean by order in child in our childhood we can learn multiple order by classes right uh, like ascending or descending order like same we can use into this part you can observe here highest to least least to highest sort smallest to largest and sort largest to smallest this function we can call it as order by class in sql server you can observe default order by class default is ascending order so it will display the default order 101 to 107 but here i want to change order by class from descending order employee id descending order it's highest to least value so this is the way we can use order by class and final one distinct class what is mean by distinct class first you can observe here select uh, department id from employee table okay you can observe here you can observe this table i can execute it it will read it will read more than one time in each record you can observe 10th records displayed three four times and 20 records displayed two times and 30 record record display one time but i want to display only unique values in the result set i don't want to see the repeated result in my query in front of the column name we can use distinct distinct record is mainly used distinct class mainly used to display the unique records from a table now you can observe in the previous statement how we can get we can get all the values what we have in your in a table but when we can use the distinct keyword in front of the column name that column can return only unique values it will not get the repeated values this is the way we can use into the classes in a where class mostly we can use where clause group by clause having clause order by it's a default either you can use if not use if you not use it will display the ascending order and distinct distinct is nothing but when we required when we want to analyze the data or when we want to checking the data we can use distinct class to find the unique records in a particular column now you can observe what are the what are the execution order we can use what is the execution of select statement you can observe here it's a common syntax of any select statement you can observe here select from table name join another table on my table name common column in between the two tables i will explain on the joins concept then where class then group by having order by limit and offset now you can observe here which one is the first step to read the server it will read the server from the table first you should identify the table from this table what are the conditions you can apply to filter the data then where class after applying the condition if you are, if you want to divide the table into number of groups we can use group by after grouping the data if you have any filter conditions we can filter the data by using having class then after applying all the condition then read the data from through select statement inside the select statement then it will move into the column level column level is a distinct and after distinct read you can go to the order by class lab final step is order by it's a limit and offset is based on your requirement limit and offset is nothing but i have a limit five records but in the five records i want to display as a three records this is nothing but a limit and 
offset mainly this process we can use to execute a stored processor always whenever you want to write a query check whenever you want to write a query on the uh, from, from for the requirement first you can write a select then then you can then you can write a from table name from table name from this table name then you can write what are the columns you want to read from the table what are the columns you want to read from the table then what are the conditions you can apply on a column name column name then operator then operator then value expression like that way we can use same whenever you are writing a queries in real time or for the practice purpose you can use same method clear so you can go through the each and every step on the from class where class group by having select distinct order by whenever we can use this to filter the data or we can read the data we can go through this logical order when we can execute a select statement so thank you for watching the video please subscribe my via digital youtube channel thank you very much we will catch you in next session